Hi, my name is Cain Ramsey. Thank you very much for choosing to join me on this Confidence, Assertiveness and Emotional Intelligence Masterclass. In the hours that follow, and I think we're looking around about 12 hours of online video-based teaching, I want to help you to discipline your mind. I want to help you to grow your emotional EQ and also cultivate an empowering relationship with both yourself, other people and the world around you. Because realistically, unless you learn to do these things for yourself at some point in your lifetime, there's no other scientific way of saying this, you're pickled. I mean, seriously, confidence underpins all progression in life. Um, the way I see it is we kind of have confidence in three different areas. Some people view confidence as kind of a fully in, fully out you know, kind of thing. Some people will say, yes, I am confident, being an all-encompassing word. Others will say they have nothing. Um, and this really isn't true. It's useful as we develop in life to understand that we'll experience confidence or a lack thereof in three different ways. The first way, we'll either be confident and secure in who we are as individuals, or we won't be. Secondary, we're going to be confident in our ability to learn and solve problems, or we're not. And thirdly, we're going to be confident in the skills and the abilities that we've already accrued throughout life. So what you might be identifying here is that there's actually opportunity for us to develop confidence in not just one way, but actually in a couple of ways. Confidence, incidentally, is not an emotion, it's not a feeling. I can't give you confidence, no one in the world can. It's something that you and you alone can only grow in as you grow in awareness and, and in a better understanding of yourself, if, if, that, if that makes sense. So, um, I want to help you to understand what this course is all about right from the off. I'm not going to be presenting any silly, nonsensical ideas to you. I'm not going to be telling you to go and get grateful for your life and develop more gratitude. I'm not going to be telling you to do some deep breathing exercises or anything like this. I'm here to educate you in and off yourself, if that's okay. So I'm going to be taking quite a Scottish and quite a grounded approach, if that's, if that's all right. I want to open up the training by sharing with you a very, very simple idea to hopefully help you better appreciate where it is you currently are in life. Now, this is one of my signature teachings, if you like. I like to propose that there, there are three different zones that we can occupy in life, and we can only occupy one zone at any one given moment in time. All right, the first zone I want to reference here is the powerless zone. Right, the powerless zone where the individual possesses zero or very little confidence, is completely insecure in who they are, isn't secure in their abilities or skills, and isn't even sure if they can learn or solve problems. As you can imagine, a pretty disempowered state. We don't want to be living life there, by the way. Right, people who live life in this place tend to be critical of other people, worried about their future, anxious, they often complain, pick faults, and mostly focus on what they don't have or on who they don't think that they are. All right, not a useful place to live life at all. These people tend to live life in quite a destructive way, do selfish and destructive things, and often share negative information with people. All right? Do you know someone who lives life in this zone? There's a pretty good chance that you do. All right? Now, don't get me wrong. Many people start there in life, but it cannot be the end of our destination. This can only be this is the beginning of our journey. All right? Because then there's awareness zone. And this is what I want to be influencing you in throughout this section and the second section of the course. The self-awareness zone is rather than you know, viewing confidence as something that we either have or don't have, we start to see it as more of an effect to a prior cause. Because this is a principle in life, cause and effect. All right, for every up there's a down, for every in there's an out. If you're skint or broke, it's because you've spent all your money. There's a reason for everything in life there has to be. Otherwise, we can really resolve nothing as human beings. All right, so the self-awareness zone has to be solution focused, where we, instead of focusing on our deficits or our problems, we focus on what we want and how it is that we need to grow and develop. It's automatically significantly more empowered place to be. We think about how it is that we want to be better for others, how we want to be more valuable for our friends, in our workplace, for our family members, or even for our children. We're here um, aware of our emotional triggers, right? Are you aware of your emotional triggers? You know, sometimes some people perhaps might say something to us or look at us in a certain way, and then we will emotionally react in a certain way. 
Well, of course, again, the cause and effect principle comes back into play. But in the awareness zone, we're more aware of our triggers, which means that rather than having to go through life in such an emotionally reactive state, we're able to take control of our own processes and respond more appropriately and more maturely instead. All right, now listen, this training is not gonna be for all people. Why? Because as we, as we look around the world today, we know that not all people are ready to grow up. So if you are ready to grow, if you are ready to mature, to develop yourself as an individual, you're gonna love what it is that I've got cooking for you. Because in the awareness zone, we don't self-sabotage, we don't undermine ourselves, we don't have a need to undermine other people. Why? Because we understand that how it is that we conduct ourselves will ultimately determine how seriously we're taken by other people. And there's a pretty good chance that you, like me, want to be taken seriously. So, um, listen. This is kind of the first stage of our journey of personal growth, together if you like. But the journey isn't going to end here, it can't. Because what we need to be working towards and entering into at some point in our life is the power zone. Because this is ultimately where life happens. This is what I want for you. And where we understand that problems, um, undesired circumstances, troublesome situations, right? Rather than the, you know, the attitude that we take in the powerless zone where things defeat us and we feel crushed and broken and beaten, in the power zone we understand that problems present us with an opportunity to grow and mature and develop. Here in this place we actively seek wise and mature information. We don't want quick fix cures. We're not going to see the witches and the wizards of the personal development world who we hope will fix us because we understand that we and we, are, we alone are responsible for our own development and growth as human beings. So in this power zone, we do our best for other people. We do our best in our careers. We're creative. We're actively looking to not leave this world in the same condition as what it was when we first entered into it. Does it sound like somewhere you could benefit from being? I'm sure that it does. In this place, we're grateful for who we are. We appreciate who we are. We also appreciate who we're not. And we've made peace with that minor deficit. Here in this place, we build mature, strong relationships that do stand the test of time. People actually enjoy being around us. They're knocking on our door, wanting us to keep their company. We're also a source of inspiration for others. Does it sound like something that you may aspire to? If so, you're in the right place because I'm going to be taking you on this journey if that's okay. There's a couple of images on the board behind me. Just uh, take note of this little guy here. I might come back in the next clip and explain what all this is about. But let's just um, here help you to, to manage your expectations of what it is that you can expect to find in this training over the next 12 hours. Through this first section, I want to share with you some fundamental principles for personal development and growth. We've got to get some foundations down. Um, just to share with you a bit of my own personal background, believe it or not, 25 years ago, I trained as a bricklayer and concreter. That was the very first trade that I ever, that I ever studied and trained in. And whilst I retired from bricklaying, around about two months after completing my exams, I did pick up a couple of really fundamental principles along the way. And one of them being that if we want to build something strong, something stable, substantial in life, we've got to really consider the strength of our foundations. If you want to build a tall building, then you've got to lay some deep and some sturdy foundations. And that was true for, and it was true in the construction industry, is also true for your life. If you want to build a strong, a confident, assertive life, we've got to get some strong foundations in place. So that's what we're going to be doing throughout this section of the course. Section two, we've really got to look and explore and make peace with our human being experience. All right, we have thoughts, we have feelings, we have emotions, we have beliefs, we have ideologies. Some of them are right, some of them are not so right, some of them are useful, and again, some of them are also not so useful. We've got to develop the eyes to distinguish the difference between them all, and also understand how they all interconnect. For every feeling, there's a thought. For every thought, there's a feeling. For every behavior, every habit, again, superseded by a thought or an emotion. So we've got to make sense of ourselves. Why? So we can ultimately develop the discipline to control ourselves and regulate our emotions. All right, if we do not learn how to do this in life, uh, as I mentioned about five minutes ago, we are going to end up absolutely pickled and we don't want that. All right, so 
I want to help you to understand who you are as an individual, which will give you a basis for all personal development and growth moving forward for the rest of your life, not for the next five minutes as I help you get some sort of short-lived emotional high. That's not what we're here to help you achieve. The third section of the course, I want to offer you a basis for powerful thinking and for assertion. All right. Have you ever have you ever heard the saying that you're only ever one positive thought away from creating something positive with your life? Well, it's very very true. The problem that many of us experience in life is that our default setting is kind of focusing towards the negative and that which we don't want, which is why many people struggle with feelings of low self-esteem, low confidence, and it's confidence and self-esteem that acts as the basis for our ability to conduct ourselves in an assertive and mature way. All right, so everything is completely interconnected, every single part of us. I need to help you understand this, all right? Some parts of the training might seem a little bit confrontational, a little bit challenging, but please trust me when I say that I'm not here to tear you down. I'm here to give you a little bit of tough love, but fundamentally build you up as a human being. Is that all right? This is what I have in store for you. By the time we're wrapped up, I want to equip you with a basis for making wise and well-informed decisions about what it is that you say yes to, what it is that you say no to, and how it is that you fundamentally conduct your life for the remainder of your days. All right, so no small task I have in front of me. But I do want to offer a disclaimer at this stage as well, all right? And this is that a teacher, not even the best teacher in the world, can bridge the gap between what you know and what you don't yet know. For a teacher's words to enlighten you, you must welcome them, you must reflect on them, you must find a place in your mind to organise them so that in time you can understand them. Um, teaching is my responsibility, but learning is yours. So, um, I'll look forward to seeing you in the next clip so we can get this show officially on the road. But before you move on to the next video, I'm going to urge you to go to the additional materials section of this video lecture, right? You might have to take a few minutes to locate that. Very, very easy to find. And download what we've created for you. It's, it's a course learning logbook, if you like, where we've created a, a section for every single lecture in the training course, which means that you can document all of your notes, any aha moments that you have, or any realizations all in the same place. What I've found over the years is that some people get the most from my training courses by just kind of experiencing the course first time round, then going through it again a second time round and taking all the notes and kind of picking up on all the bits that they missed the first time round. But listen, how you approach the training is entirely up to you. So listen, um, that's the introduction officially over. I look forward to seeing you in clip two, where, as I've mentioned, we're going to officially get this show on the road.